All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video on saving your subtools. So as you start to get further along and higher detail, you're going to have a lot of information in your model, and that can cause um, a corrupt file or it can cause freezing or crashing. So I did a little bit of research at one point and found that if you come into your subtool and uh, you click all low here, it will change all the subtools sub to the lowest subdivision level. And that's uh, a good thing to do before you save. So there's some things over here that were mirrored that aren't going to go to the lowest subdivision level because you have to delete the lower subdivs in order to mirror them. But it's still reducing the amount of information in the file and geometry by a ton. So... And if you haven't mirrored, then you won't even have that issue there. But now you can click Save As. And let's just do, I'm going to save over this one called Save As. So you would just name it and click Save. Now let's click out of edit mode and clear our canvas by clicking Control N. And then I'm just going to load a tool and I'm going to load Save As again. And once the uh, icon is done loading, let's click edit, drag it out, and click edit again. And you can see it dragged it out in its low poly form. So let's click all high. And you can see that it has still saved the high subdiv count. So now we can start working with our higher subdiv level again. But we were able to save it in a, a lower poly, lower information file that is definitely going to have less chance to get uh, corrupt or cause you problems down the road. So I just thought it would be a good little video for you to see that saving in all low can save you some headaches down the road. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.